Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video we're going to create a very simple program to calculate our monthly budget. Now before we begin I do have to say that this is not financial advice and this is just a fun project. Also you can get the code on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. I will leave a link for that in the description below. Alright so if you're going to code along with me go ahead and go to colab.research.google.com Go ahead and click on file then click on new notebook where a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell open up for you and in this cell i'm going to put in a description about the program so this program calculates your monthly budget okay all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left also i should say that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and click that subscribe and click that like button if you like the video at the end of the video and to be notified about new videos from the channel hit that bell notification alright so with all that being said let's continue with the program so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function function to calculate the monthly budget alright so I'm going to call this function calculate underscore monthly underscore budget and it's going to take in some income and it's going to take in a list of expenses all right and from that list of expenses I'm going to get the total sum so I'm going to create a variable called total underscore expenses and I'm going to set it equal to sum and we're going to input that expenses list so we can get the total number of expenses all right, next I'm going to create a variable called savings. I'm going to set it equal to income minus the total underscore expenses. And this is our savings that we can use for investing or just saving for an emergency, anything like that. And of course, the list of expenses can be things like our rent, our car note, our phone bill, our utilities, things like that, right? So that will all be in our list of expenses. All right, next I'm going to create a variable called budget I'm going to set it equal to a left and right curly brace and inside of those left and right curly braces I'm going to input our income so I'm going to put income here and then colon and then we're going to get our actual income value then I'm going to put total expenses and then colon and of course here I'm going to put the actual value for total underscore expenses and then last but not least will be the savings and then a colon alright and this will be the savings alright and then I will return the budget alright so let me go ahead and run this cell by clicking that button in the top left uh, right now I have to manage these sessions let's go ahead and delete some of these sessions close them alright so let's go ahead and run this again you probably won't get that error message that's just from me coding a little bit earlier so now I ran this cell and everything seems to be good so let's go ahead and create a new cell alright so now in this cell I am going to print welcome to the monthly budget calculator alright so that looks good and now I'm going to create a variable called income. I'm going to set it equal to some input, right? So I'm going to ask the user for some input. I'm going to ask the user to enter their monthly income. And I want it in USD dollars. So I'm going to put the dollar sign there and then a colon. And then I'm going to put a little space here. Now I want the income to be a float. So I'm going to cast all of this inside of the float function. And it's a float because the income can be some number like 5126.82 right so that's why I want it to be a float it can have some numbers after the decimal place next I want to get the number of expenses so I'm going to create a variable called num expenses and I'm going to set it equal to some input so I want to get that 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 input from the user I want to get the number of expenses that the user has again this could be something like their car note the electric bill the the phone bill and rent so I'm going to get the number of expense categories. So here I'm just going to type enter the number of expense categories. Now I'm going to put a colon and a space. 
and I want this to be an integer value. So I'm going to cast this in, cast this as an int, right? So now I'm going to get some integer numbers. So it's going to be the four, three, two, one, maybe ten, maybe twenty, maybe fifty, right? But it's going to be some integer value. All right. Next, I'm going to create an empty list called expenses. So I'm going to set expenses equal to an empty list, and then I'm going to loop through the number of expenses. So for i in range number of expenses or num num underscore expenses I'm going to do something alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the actual expense for each category so I'm going to create a variable called expense and I'm going to set it equal to input and I'm going to put an f here and I'm going to ask the user's input so I'm going to ask the user to enter the amount for the expense or maybe I put the amount for expense number number one, number two, number three. So I'm gonna put I here so that it's going to vary based off of which expense number we're on, right? Because I is gonna keep keep changing. And I'm gonna put I plus one because I want it to start from one and not from zero. And then I'm gonna put a colon here and then put a space. Alright, now the input I want it to be a float because the expense will be a float. It's going to be a number like 523.16, right? So that's why this needs to be a float. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add that expense to our expenses list that we created earlier. So I'm going to type expenses dot pin and I'm going to input expense. All right, so now in the expenses list, I have a list of of each expense okay all right next I'm gonna create a variable called budget and I'm gonna set it equal to the function that we created which was calculate underscore monthly underscore budget function and that function is going to take in some income and it's going to take in the expenses list that we just created and then I'm gonna have it print monthly budget breakdown all right and I'm gonna put a colon here and actually I'm gonna put a backslash in here for a new line so it's gonna go down to the next line and then for each category and amount in the budget dot items I'm going to print the category and then a colon and then a dollar sign for the amount. So I'm going to put amount here in this curly brace. So amount colon and then dot to F. So I'm putting a dot to F because it's two, because I want two places after the decimal place. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this by clicking that button here in the top left. And let's see how this program works. So here it says, Welcome to the monthly budget calculator enter your monthly income so every month maybe I get let's just say one thousand seven hundred dollars all right next I'm going to enter the number of expenses the number of expense categories that I have so I have food I have rent um, let's see what else can I make up or think of uh, food rent phone bill and utility so I'm just gonna put four here for now car note is another one right if I didn't already say that okay so we're gonna have four expense categories and then it's gonna ask me to enter the amount for expense number one so the expense number one I'm just gonna say maybe it's my rent and maybe my rent is one thousand dollars a month okay next I'm gonna enter the amount for expense number two and that may be my phone bill so maybe my phone bill is one hundred dollars a month and now I'm gonna enter the amount for my expense number three which may be food, so maybe I also spend hundred, let's say hundred six dollars and eighty eight cents, just to put some decimal places here, and then my last expense, which are uh, utilities. I just going to throw it out there, maybe, maybe utilities, and so maybe for utilities, I'm spending sixty five point ninety three a month on utilities. Okay, so now I press enter, and I get my monthly budget breakdown so my income is one thousand two hundred 
$72.81. My total expenses is $1,272.81. And my savings is $1,272.81. And that is wrong. So let's go back up and let's see where we went wrong. So here, I put savings equals income equals total expenses. And it should be savings equal income minus total expenses. So that's one place that that uh, I definitely went wrong. So I'm going to rerun this cell here. And I'm going to rerun this cell here. And let's do it all over again. Let's enter your monthly income. So now my monthly income will be 1500 Enter the number of expenses. This time I'm only going to put three. I think I might have put 1500 last time. Anyways, first category, rent, $1,000. Second category, uh, I'm just going to say uh, 332.98 for, I don't know, food. And then for utilities, I'm just going to put 65.89. Okay, and now when I look at this, I can see the breakdown. So it says monthly budget breakdown income is $1,500. Total expenses is $1,398.87. And so my total savings is $101.13. Okay? So that's how much I can save every month. And I can put this in an investment or an emergency fund, anything like that. Okay? So again, this is not financial advice. It's just a fun project that I hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you want this program, you can get it on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And if you want any of my other programs from some of my other videos, you can also get them there as well. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.